Hello everybody, welcome to DD68. In DD68, we will study a few lines from a situation comedy. But first, we need to go back to DD67 about the history of Mexico. A bit difficult. Listen again. History is amazing. What took thousands of years to develop as great civilizations took a flash to change. When Hernando Cortez and 550 men landed on the Gulf of Mexico in 1519, it took only a couple of years to forever change the land that is now Mexico. This one was difficult. Let me read the answers. History is amazing. What took thousands of years to develop as great civilizations took a flash to change. When Hernando Cortez and 550 men landed on the Gulf of Mexico in 1519, it took only a couple of years to forever change the land that is now Mexico. So there were some tricky parts. History is amazing. Almost everybody got that. Very good job. History is amazing. History is surprising. So many unbelievable things happen in history. A lot of people miss this word. What took what took thousands of years to develop as great civilizations. So let's go back here. Great civilizations. What are some of the great civilizations in history? We can go back to Sumeria, Babylon, in the Tigris-Euphrates rivers area of Iraq, the Middle East. We've got the great Egyptian civilization, the Mayan civilization, and Aztec civilizations in Central and South America. We've got the ancient Chinese civilizations in Asia. Many civilizations throughout history, those are the great civilizations. Those great civilizations took a long time to develop. She says, thousands of years to develop. So the great civilization of the Aztecs, and I believe before the Aztecs, were the Olmecs, the Olmec civilization. But it took thousands, a long time to develop. So, what took thousands of years to develop took a flash to change. So when we use the word took, take, past tense took, it involves time, using time. So here specifically she's talking about the Aztec civilization. The Aztec civilization took a long time to develop, but it only took, so the nuance here is only, so but it only took a flash, the blink of an eye, an instant, very, very quickly to change. The Aztec civilization required a long time to develop. She says thousands of years. Well, maybe she's right. I think it's hundreds of years, but anyway, thousands of years, but it changed in an instant. It changed almost overnight. It changed in a flash. When did the Aztec civilization change? When Hernando Cortez and 550 men, 550 men, 
so Hernando Cortez and 550 men landed on the Gulf of Mexico. In 1519, that's when the change, that's when the change happened. Now, grammatically, this is wrong. When Hernando Cortez and 550 men landed, no problem, on the Gulf of Mexico, grammatically, that's wrong. Because when you land, you have to land on land. So you're in a boat, and then you hit land, and then you go to land. The Gulf of Mexico is water. So she should have said, when Hernando Cortez and 550 men arrived, I know, in the Gulf of Mexico. Or, when, the, uh, when Hernando Cortez and 550 men landed in, we could say on to, if, okay, if we say on, we should say Mexican land. If we say in, we can just say in Mexico. So the grammar is tricky. So Gulf of Mexico, if we want to say Gulf of Mexico, we have to stay blue. Arrived in the Gulf of Mexico. If we want to say landed, we have two choices, landed on Mexican land or landed in Mexico, the area of Mexico, okay? It should be changed. But anyway, we can understand. Anyway, we understand. When Hernando Cortez and 550 men landed on the Gulf of Mexico in 1519, it took a flash. Only a couple of years. It took only a couple of years to forever change. And to forever change means to completely change. To absolutely change the land, the area, the country, the region, the people, the civilization. That is now Mexico which is now Mexico. History is amazing. What took thousands of years to develop as great civilizations took a flash to change. When Hernando Cortes and 550 men landed on the Gulf of Mexico in 1519, it took only a couple of years to forever change the land that is now Mexico. Okay? Some tricky areas, <coughs> excuse me, for students, this was tough. What? A lot of students heard where, they didn't hear anything. Uh, if you didn't listen, watch my video, Hernando Cortez, very difficult to dictate. Ah, took a flash, took a flash, took a flash, very difficult. Took means take which means required. Required time in this case. Take time. It takes time to develop your English ability. It requires time to develop your English ability. My, I live in Korea. My Korean language skill is pretty good, but it took a lot of time. It didn't happen in a flash. It took a flash? <laughs> I wish it took a long time. So this was tough. Uh, it took a flash to change when Hernando Cortez and 500, 550. Now, numbers, be careful with numbers. Always practice numbers because if you're a doctor and the numbers are wrong, people die. If you're a business person and the numbers are wrong, you get fired. If you're an engineer and the numbers are wrong, buildings fall down. And if you're just like me, a regular person, but you're traveling to America or someplace and you're buying something and your numbers are wrong, 
They'll steal your money. They'll rip you off. You gotta be careful with numbers. Numbers are important. Practice numbers. I should do a business news. Yeah, business news has lots of numbers. Maybe I should do something about the stock market. Would you like that? Anyway, 550, 1519. Now actually, 550, that's the correct way to say it. 550, but if you listen closely, she says 550. Most Americans, will say 550, 550, 550. The correct way is 550. The typical way, 550. Me, what do I say? 550. I'm always proper. <clears throat> yeah. uh, uh, 1519, when we talk about a year, the year, we go two numbers, two numbers. 1519, 1519. Gulf of Mexico, that can be confusing. Uh, only a couple of years, a couple of years, a couple of years. The V sound connects. Took only uh, lots of connection. Took only a couple of years to forever. For, it's going to be more of a shorter sound. For, for, forever. Forever change the land that is now Mexico. So, I haven't seen any responses from our Mexican viewers yet, so I'm a little sad, but I did get a, a response from a Spanish uh, subscriber, Juan. And Juan said, he, 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 because he's Spanish, he, he feels bad about the past because Fernando Cortes was a conquistador. And when they went to Mexico in the name of religion, they killed many of the Aztecs. And that's the history I'm aware of, too. Uh, yeah, you know, people, man in history has done some really horrible things and is still doing some really horrible things. So we have to look at our history, we have to learn, and it starts with you, it starts with me. I gotta be a good person and hopefully we can affect the people around us to stop the tragedies like what happened to the Aztec nation. Anyway. That's the end. Listen two more times. Then we move to a situation comedy. It's pretty funny. History is amazing. What took thousands of years to develop as great civilizations took a flash to change. When Hernando Cortez and 550 men landed on the Gulf of Mexico in 1519, it took only a couple of years to forever change the land that is now Mexico. History is amazing. What took thousands of years to develop as great civilizations took a flash to change. When Hernando Cortez and 550 men landed on the Gulf of Mexico in 1519, it took only a couple of years to forever change the land that is now Mexico. Several years ago in the UK, a new situation comedy started and it was called The Office and it was very popular in the UK. And then in America, they Americanized it. Same situation, but American situations. And also in America, it became very funny. The name, The Office, it's just the, the boss and the employees and their working relationships. It's kind of funny. Well, in this scene, we're going to hear this word, Morse code. I have to go backwards. Morse code, Morse code. Have you heard of Morse code? Morse code is... Uh, before the 
the phones, if you wanted to send a message to somebody far away, you used a telegraph, and the person would tee 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 dash dash dot dot dash dash dot 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 dash dash. That code is called Morse code, and I know some things. I know that that tee 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 tee. T, T, T. I think that's it. If it's dash, 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 dot, 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 dash, 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 or maybe the other way. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. I think it's this one. This means S-O-S. S-O-S. Which means I'm in an emergency. Do you know Morse code? Not many people know Morse code. But... If you knew Morse code, that would be cool at the office. Because you could be in a business meeting with the boss, the boss is right here, and you and your friend know Morse code. And you don't like the boss. So you can say, you can take like a, a pen, let me find a pen. Uh, here we go. So you, you could take a pen like this and you could go in Morse code. The boss is really stupid. I don't like the boss. And the boss would not know. <laughs> it's great. It's wonderful. Yes, I am going to learn Morse code. Maybe. That's what the situation is about, okay? There's a guy and a girl who are doing Morse code, and there's another guy, his name is Dwight, and he does most of the speaking. You got to do the dictation. Good luck, enjoy it. At the end, I will say hello to our new subscribers. Thanks a lot. Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me and Morse code. You know what? Joke's on you, because I know Morse code. Ha! <laughs> Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me and Morse code. You know what? Joke's on you, because I know Morse code. Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me and Morse code. You know what? Joke's on you, because I know Morse code. Ha! <laughs> Stop it. Stop what? You're talking about me and Morse code. You know what? Joke's on you, because I know Morse code. Thank you very much for joining, especially to Anuskara. Anuskara from Spain. Am I pronouncing that correctly? Anuskara or Cara? Cara? Anuskara. Como se dice Cara? 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 Is it Cara? I'm guessing. I don't know. My Spanish is really bad. Uh, Anuskara from Spain. Gracias. Thank you very much. From Korea. Dehan Mingu. Dehan Mingu. Kim KK2K. Pangap Sao Naida. KK2K, I think Y2K. Yeah, that was 12 years ago. Hmm. From Taiwan, just south of South Korea, Tony Ko. Tony Ko works for. Tony Ko is a spy. Tony Ko 007, like James Bond. Co. Tony Co. Nice to meet you. From Hungary. From Hungary we have Harum T3. Terminator 3? Have you come to kill me? Harum. Is it Harum? I think it's Harum. I'm guessing Harum. Harum, nice to meet you. 
Mr. Sivel, Mr. Sivel, from hometown Vokovar, and the country right now, Serbia. Mr. Sivel from Serbia, thank you very much for joining my channel. Now, I know this area has the Danube River in, in that region, and uh, last, week, uh, last week or two weeks ago, another person from Romania sent a video of the Danube beautiful area so I wonder I now I know there was a war in your region a couple years ago so I wonder about the old buildings the beautiful buildings are they are they okay is it still beautiful are they doing reconstruction I'm curious it looks like a beautiful part of Europe thank you very much for joining from Turkey, we have Palpa Braxas. Palpa Braxas from Turkey. Turkey is another country I would love to visit for the history. Oh, it sounds fascinating. One day I shall visit Turkey. And maybe I can meet you, Palpa Braxas. Again from Korea, Potato Joy 3. Potato Joy 3. Now, I have a question. Somebody else has Potato Joy 2 and Potato Joy 1 and somebody else is Potato Joy? Potato Joy 3? Why the 3? Are there somebody else, other people who have Potato Joy? I, I like potatoes too. I had a potato salad today. Oh, <laughs> delicious. And finally, from America, but this person is also Korean, I believe. Wispit. Wispit. That's a cool name. I like that ID. Wispit Pagapsal Nida. Thank you very much for joining. To everybody, thank you for joining. Hit subscribe. Tell your friends to subscribe. Send your friends text messages and, and use Facebook and Google+. Plus. I don't know how to use those things. So if you know, tell your friends. Get them to join. Let's make it bigger and better. And if you have a special request for DD, for Daily Dictation, send me a link, a video link or an audio link. And if it's good, I'll use it. Take care. Bye-bye.